Full disclaimer, I do work for Microsoft. Everybody, how's it going? It's the E-double-R-O-L-E, arrow E. And today we're gonna learn something pretty cool, pretty nifty, and that is creating a PowerPoint and using that as your own whiteboard to record. So you might be wondering, Errol, why would I use PowerPoint to make it a digital whiteboard? Well, it's pretty cool. Inside of PowerPoint, you are able to record. And inside of that recording, you are able to utilize inking features and so many things. So there's a ton of things you can do, but I'm gonna show the basics, how you can actually get started and get things done. All right, let's dive in right now. All right, so first thing you wanna do is open up PowerPoint. So if you don't see this recording feature, what you wanna do is go to File, and then go to your Options section. And once you go into Options, then you wanna to go to Customize Ribbon, and then you wanna scroll down and make sure Recording is checked, and then hit OK. All right, so what I wanna do now is go to Insert, Pictures, and then online images. So now once I go here, I'm able to utilize Bing images. So let's do a quick search, shall we? So I'm gonna look up chalkboard and I'm gonna find a chalkboard. Nice thing is they use Creative Commons so I don't have to worry about infringing on anyone's copyright. But make sure you use this for personal use and not for commercial gain. All right, so you can see right here that I'm gonna choose this one and I'm gonna hit insert. Now it's going to insert that for me. Now I have this awesome design idea one. Uh, I'm gonna choose this one here. This looks pretty cool, pretty fancy. I like it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna control C. I'm just gonna copy it to make different ones right here. So everything is good to go. All right, I really like the way this looks right here. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to recording. So this is where the fun begins. <laughs> Ready? Let's dive in. Let's click on it, shall we? You can see now when we do record slideshow, what happens? Well, if you wanted to record your slideshow for your students so they're able to see you doing stuff, on here, you can do that. Now, let's take a look how this works. Remember how I said this was our digital whiteboard? Well, let's see. We have our slide right here, but also we have all of our inking capabilities right here as well, including pens, highlighters, and your digital eraser. So, I'm gonna click on pen. So I'm now gonna choose a pen. Now imagine I'm doing simple math and I want to showcase how to solve two plus two. So, you can be a teacher. You can hit record and say, Hello students, how's it going? My name is Mr. Ebanks, and today we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're going to be learning all about basic math. And within basic math, we're gonna learn a few things. So, we might wanna know, how do we do two plus two? Now, if we think about it, two plus two equals what? Correct, it is four. Now, what if we do something else? What if we do four times two? What does that equal? Correct, it equals eight. Now you can see, you can go over again, and now you have an additional whiteboard that you are able to maybe do another math problem or solve for something. And this will be a great way to show your students how you can utilize all of these features. Now, if we look here at the top, I can pause the recording, I can stop it, I can replay it, or I can clear it. But let's just stop this for right now. 
All right, so now that I have this recording stopped, you can see right here, I can replay it. Hello students, how's it going? My name is Mr. Ebanks, and today we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're going to be learning all about- Right there, which is pretty cool. Now, everything looks good, everything seems good right here. I just wanna call out here at the bottom, you do have your other stuff too as well. You could turn on and off your camera. Uh, you can change your camera if it's a front or rear facing, or you can mute your microphone. All right, let's close out of this. Now you can see it does a screen recording right here of it. So what we wanna do now is export this video. So I'm gonna click on export. Now you can see it gives me a lot of different features. I can export it as an animated GIF, but I wanna export this as an actual video. Now you can see it gives me a ton of different options. I can uh, export it from a standard all the way up to 4K if I want to. Now what I'm gonna do is hit create video. And now let's just save this to our desktop. But realistically, you wanna save it to your cloud in OneDrive. So I'm just gonna call this one basic math and just so we're not sitting here on our phones or on the computer, let's speed up this process, shall we? So we are finally there. So first thing you want to do now is go to your area where you've downloaded it. And now you can play it back just like this. Hello students, how's it going? My name is Mr. Ebanks and today we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be learning all about basic math. And within basic math. All right, so you can see how you can create a simple video and turn it into your own digital whiteboard with Microsoft PowerPoint. So I hope everyone learned a lot and could utilize this in your classroom or even maybe your business. So remember, tell a better story. This is Arrow E. Peace.